Cortana is a lighting tool. So, you know, first and foremost, you can position lights and send off many renders to the queue and do all the kind of things you normally think of for a lighting tool. The extraordinary thing when you look at it from the outside is just how successful the Foundry have been at taking real-world production tools out of these major houses and then commercializing them. I mean, Cortana was Sony's core lighting tool, and now, of course, uh, it's available to everybody. What Sony did with Katana was they had a really good idea. Let's just have almost like a recipe which we can actually give directly into the renderer and let the renderer decide what it needs when it needs it. And we'll run generating the scene just inside the renderer. I think so far in the, in the VFX industry, there hasn't really been a strong third-party solution that, that lets people kind of take on lighting and look development and, and to the capacity that Katana allows for it. Our existing pipeline was um, all proprietary in-house Maya to RenderMan, a system that was developed many, many years ago. It was largely text-based, which was an extremely difficult on the artists, uh, extremely slow uh, and cumbersome. And when Katana came along, I really felt like it was, it fit the bill. So we jumped on it and have been ramping up our capabilities with it. One of the things I'm really excited about with Katana is the asset API and the fact that it does have an extremely clean, simple way of swapping out asset management systems. A huge advantage, I think, for Katana is the transportability of a lighting setup. Um, it's, it's basically a copy and paste. We can set up a template, hand it off to lighters. Once they're working on a shot, if there's updates that need to be happening, we can get those out to them. We're primarily a, a creature shop. We do a lot of creatures. We did half the shots for uh, the film Ted and the Twilight series, we did the wolves. Whenever we do half variants of a creature, um, very often what will just generate multiple look files and we can just switch out the, the look file that's required for a particular shot. But that's really kind of a subset of what Katana really does. It's um, you know, the lighters are the ones who inherit all the data from all the upstream departments, and they got to make that shot work. They got to get all the stuff rendering together. The whole scene from the, the top all the way down, you know, through all your, uh, all of your geometry, your lights, your materials even, like the, the entire definition of the scene is processed on demand as, as either the UI or the renderer needs it. What I found it most helpful for is um, the ability to have things just simply in front of you as an artist. You know, you import your assets on the top and you can easily tell all the way down the node graph to the bottom what you're looking at and you can tell at any point in time where something might be going wrong and then just change it out or change your parameter if you need to at that point. Because it's a lot easier to iterate, not only is it easier in the sense that you can create an asset, change an asset without breaking everything, but you can also do it quickly. That combination is pretty powerful. So now, instead of spending your time kind of rebuilding a scene because you changed one asset, you might get another iteration of the asset in, in that same time. Even if you're doing like 10 shots, it doesn't have to be hundreds of shots or thousands of shots. But as soon as you say you want to use, like, you know, build a model, or build, do some development, and then use that in 10 shots, and maybe some of those shots you need to make tweaks and changes to. Katana just sort of, it just actually works. I think that Katana, is a chance for us as kind of a small, medium-sized company to adopt some fairly sophisticated pipeline practices and workflows that, that you know previously you would have had to have a very large development team to, to get the stuff off the ground and actually functioning. Leica being a smaller studio with really, you know, I think very skilled people, a lot of our artists and TDs have kind of worked on large-scale feature films and are definitely used to those kind of big tool sets. Um, and not having like a giant R&D team that can build those tool sets. Um, you know, you, you kind of get used to giving up features that, and workflows that you're used to having. The whole procedural you know, attribute processing engine inside of Katana is completely designed around um, giving as much flexibility as possible to the lighter at the last stage of production. I love it. I think it's great. Working on a shot to try new things, it's very adaptable and uh, has really streamlined our, our process.